What up? So this is a tutorial on how to get PSU Clementine server running perfectly. Let's get into it. So first things first is you gotta create an account, right? I'll put a, a link to the uh, a link to this in the description. Once you do that, we can go on to downloading the game. So you can find it pretty easily, you know. PSU Clementine, it'll pop up. You click on the Clementine installer, you'll come here, click on the installer, right? Yeah, like I said, I'll put a, a link to this as well in the description. <clears throat> so, installing the game is usually what people have a problem with. So, let me show you how to resolve that real quick, right? So once you extract the game after downloading it, it'll look like this. When you try installing it, right, if you have multiple hard drives, it'll automatically select the hard drive and it might not be your SSD. So once you finish installing the game, you may want to um, copy and patch the, fo the folder into your SSD, but not the program files folder. You want to put it in the roots of your SSD. So once you do that, it'll look something like this. Hold on here. It'll look something like this. A little different, you know, a little different, but this is where you want to be right now. And, uh, hold on one second. So, okay, so I recommend launching the game one time first just to get that first patch out of the way so you would you would press you would click this one right here the online dot x that would work you launch that and then if you have a if you have a cpu with like a lot of cores you might have a problem where while logging into the game it will freeze so to avoid that issue I mean, first see, first see if you have that problem. But to avoid that issue, if you do encounter that problem, what you gotta do is go to Task Manager. It's most likely that you won't have this problem. But if you do, like I have this problem, because like I have a AMD Threadripper with 16 cores. So this is what I have to do every time I, I log in because of that. Most most computers won't have this problem though, so you most likely won't have this issue. But you gotta set the affinity basically, and you you don't have to put the exact number of cores, just like two cores, four cores, six cores, eight cores, or even numbers basically. You know, and um, so once that's out of the way, you'll log in, and it will it will patch for the first time but it, it will probably keep you in a in an infinite patching loop so in order to get around that infinite patching loop you gotta basically uh you'll see this file right here right you wanna del you wanna basically copy this name right here just copy it you know so you, your computer remembers it and then you wanna delete this file delete it Boom. I'm not going to delete it because I, cause I need it right now, but, but yeah, once you delete that, right, you'll notice a different file with the same name, but at the end of it, it says, it says P-A-T. It, it would look, it would sound like that instead. All right. Now that's the, that file right there. That's the one you want to rename to this. Just take out the path the dot pat take that out and just rename it like this and then it'll change the file type and that that will basically become the the client that, that, that you'll use for now at least i say that but not really because the next thing at that point your game should be running perfectly but you you also need the floor reader so let me show you how to install that bullshit. Oh, and also another thing, another thing. If in your in your P 
PSU folder, you find this file right here, delete that bullshit. You don't need it. So I'm going to go over here real quick. All right. I'm going to fucking... I don't have files of this shit anymore. I don't think. Yeah. All right. So we're going to extract this. Hold on here, man. Extract to genome. Check it out. So this is what you want to put in, in your PSU folder. You copy that. And then you paste it. Right here. And then. You see this launcher right here. That's going to be the launcher you use from now on. Because when you when you use this launcher, it'll automatically, and not only it, it it remembers your um your where you position your your freaking your floor your floor reader, but it also boosts it up as well, you know. So yeah, that's the one you want to use. And um, actually, I'm already in the game. So basically, right, there is one thing else that you need to know. You won't have any problems getting in the game at that point. But editing the floor reader might be a hassle, I'm gonna, and I'm going to explain why. Okay? Um, I won't need that. Not after this video. Anyways, so editing this might be difficult because... Like I mentioned before, I don't think I, I don't think I mentioned it before. Maybe on a different video, cause I tried doing this a couple times and the audio wasn't working. But anyways, if your monitor is running 4K and the game is running on 720p, for example, editing this would not be that easy, cause you'll you'll see that you see in order to edit it, it's a little off because of the different the different resolutions. So to edit this, you're going to have to like be very slow and patient in dealing with this. As you can see, it's not accurate because of the different resolutions. But you can manage to do it. Like for example, right, right now I have it so that I hide it in the lobby. I don't want to do that right now because I want to show you something, but... After you're done editing it, the way I, the way I did, you're gonna want to put lock window, hide the title bar, hide columns, all of that shit, and then save the order, right? But what I want to show you is this, because right now I'm editing it, and I just wanted to show you, because you see, the columns right here, there are invisible lines here, in between in between the columns, and if you position the cursor properly you'll you'll notice it eventually that's why you gotta you gotta figure out how to do it right which is basically right finding finding this little this little um corner over here finding it on the left side is difficult so what i suggest suggest is basically moving it around like this keep moving it until you gotta until you actually grab the the floor reader when you grab the floor reader you move upwards a little bit like that until you grab the top. When you grab the top, you can uh, you can lower it and to to the to a decent spot like this, for example. And then while while you are still holding on to the top, you can go left. You can keep going left like this, like this, clicking, 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 going left like that until you grab either a corner up here or or the sides, so you can turn so you can control the sides. Because once you have this, the left side, for example, you'll be able to go right a little bit, and then you'll you'll notice one of the one of those invisible lines lighting up blue. That means you can grab it and then move the columns left or right to to make room for the names and all that. So that's that's what I recommend right there. If you have that kind of problem, the problem that I'm having with the different resolutions. Once you figure that that out, the game is. 
fucking perfect, honestly. Oh, wait, except for this. Could you see all of this bullshit on the left side? That The bottom part right here is going to block out the monster elements. But you'll be able to see it if you take off PA hits. Boom. You'll be able to see it a little better that way. And so after you position all that bullshit, right? You want to lock all this shit right here. So that you don't accidentally fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, and hide that shit in the lobby. So that it only appears in the whatchamacallit. Oh, damn, look. And we gotta take all this bullshit off, bro. See that? You can make it so that only specific things appear. Decorations, traps, boards. Now I'll keep the grinders. Boost items, whatever. I'm gonna set up. Alright, that's a little better. Oh, wait, no consumables though. Um. Yeah. So that's good right there, you know what I'm saying? Now I'll put save column order one more time just in case. And then we'll go up here. Boom. And then you press slash to take out the menu for that shit. And if you go in the game, see now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fucking remove this bullshit. And then we're gonna take all this shit, boom, like that. Right, right? What you know about, about my fucking, my wallpaper by the way, look at that shit, what you know about that? Cause Jesus Christ ain't no bitch. Alright though, let me see. So I'm gonna get in, in the I'm gonna get into one of these games real quick to show you real quick, huh? You can check this shit out, see how it runs. This shit runs pretty banging. Mackenzie? S4? Damn, I should join this person. But on my other account, I'm one of my other characters. Fuck. This dude is an acro fighter, that's kind of crazy. But yeah, check it out. You see the floor reader, how it's working? And you see, I put it where it is because I can still type and nothing gets blocked out, you know? Fucking perfect. But yeah, you guys can see what's up, you know? I, I don't want this video to go on any longer than it should, so... Peace and love, yo. I'll see you in game, if anything.